What is going on, guys? Welcome back to another episode of Behind the Curtains with Scott and Pete. Um, so this week, we're going to dive into, we just actually attended a lunch and learn with a local hard money lender. So we wanted to give a quick overview of why you might use hard money and whether it's better to buy a single family home or a multifamily home as an investment. So Pete, what's going on, dude? What's up, brother? I'm um, excited to dive into this topic, as I think I probably say at the beginning of every one of our episodes. So, <laughs> yeah, um, I think I'm like trying to fight a sneeze here for a minute. So just bear with me. But I think the first thing to cover, right, is what is hard money lending? Right. So why, can you just jump into that real quick? Like, what is hard money lending? Yeah. So I, I might butcher this, but like hard money is basically a private lender. Um that is using either their own funds or they have investors that they work with who are willing to lend. And basically, the typical way that you think of hard money is it is meant to be used when purchasing an investment property, especially one that probably needs renovations. Because a lot of times what you hear people doing is they buy with hard money. And oftentimes, let's say for an investment property, if you were buying with a normal bank, you're gonna owe you know, 25% down as a down payment. Maybe with hard money, depending on your experience, that number could look like anywhere from 10 to like 20% down on the purchase price. So let's say it's a $300,000 home, you gotta come up with 20%, you're coming to the table with 60 grand, but then the hard money lender where they really benefit you is, they'll lend you 100% of the funds needed to go ahead and do the renovations on that property. And so usually what it is, is they're qualifying you based on your credit score. And then the deal that you are purchasing is really the key factor rather than doing such a deep dive into like your income and a lot of things that a traditional bank would look at. So that's kind of my like way of defining what hard money is in layman's terms for everyone. So anything to fill in there, Pete? No, I mean, I think you pretty much covered it and it looks like I got that sneeze, uh, sneeze dust out or whatever, but so we're good here, but no, yeah, I think the big thing to keep in mind is like when you're purchasing a regular, you know, just a owner occupied home, primary residence, uh, a lot of when we talk about 30 year fixed rates or, you know, FHA loans or VA loans, those are all like those guidelines are dictated by like a bigger entity, right? Like the government mm -hmm. is telling you, that's why you'll hear you need to have X amount credit score or X amount down payment to get PMI and all this stuff where, you know, a hard money lender, it is going to be a higher interest rate, right? Because they're, they're loaning you that money without those kinds of verifications. You're not going to need as much of like the guidelines aren't as strict but they get to kind of create what their own guidelines are. So I think, you know, just something to keep in mind. Someone might say, well, how come I'm not using hard money to buy my primary residence? It probably wouldn't make sense because the interest rates are much higher. But yeah, that's I a think, great point. <laughs> I think what's cool, and again, just because you're typically doing hard money for a shorter period of time. So it is beneficial when you're flipping homes, short-term rentals. Uh, looks like they even offer for like long-term rentals, but for like, vacation homes, a lot of different things that, that this particular hard money lender uh, offers. And what I thought was really cool. Now you've explored the hard money lending more than I have. Um, I've gone more of the primary residence owner occupied route as far as my investments are concerned. But what I thought was really cool is now this is my first time really meeting a hard money lender. And in my mind, uh, I don't know, I guess I just kind of envision like this Wall Street, like I don't have time for you either give me the deal or get out of my face kind of thing but we met some really awesome people there i thought the lunch and learn was really cool it was uh you know really covered a lot of things and how we can help our investor clients and uh us as investors but just some really cool down to earth people who are just genuinely trying to help people uh and i thought that that was a really cool like change of my perception just by like getting out there and experiencing these people firsthand yeah, and you you actually shared with me a quote that you had recently come across, which I'm hoping I can get correct here, which was something along the lines of like, um, when you've lost your way, um, you've likely lost your why. Is that pretty much the summation that's of the quote? Pretty, that's pretty much it, yeah. Um, and I thought it was really cool because I think we're talking about the same person specifically that we met today where you could tell that she has a really big purpose in what she's doing. Um, and, you know, she shared with us a little bit how she like taps into 
specifically like the Spanish community to help them understand better how money works and how to, you know, get a leg up in this world, right? By, you know, learning more about just the basic functions of money and like how she's really tapping in and doing a lot of like things like what we're doing here, right? She, she said she goes live on her Facebook and has these conversations with that community that she's targeting. And it was cool to watch her talk about it because to your point, right? Like I, I do also think like hard money, it's almost as if it's like this just very, you know, shake my hand, I'm gonna hand you a bag of cash and then I'm running away and you better pay me or, you know, I'm gonna come after you with a billy club. Like, but that's not what it was. It was, you know, these were really great people that are looking to help people interested in investing um, and guide them along that way. So, um, yeah, I just, I, I was really blown away. Uh, this, this happens to be a lender, a hard money lender that I have spoken with in the past, but this was the first time getting to really be in person, especially because, you know, the first time I talked to them was right at the beginning of COVID. So they even acknowledged that they're just getting back into doing more in-person events. And it was really nice to get that, you know, face-to-face, belly-to-belly, really getting to see what makes somebody, you know, tick. And uh, you can tell that they really care about what they're doing and the people that they're helping. Yeah. Not to mention it was like a five course meal, which I didn't expect. My <laughs> God, they had like, they pulled out all the, all the works for us, but you know, and just a couple other things that I thought was pretty interesting on the hard money lending is, you know, there are certain um, like limitations as far as like, if you, if it's your first time doing a deal, you know, doing a flip, doing an investment, like they are a little more skeptical to work with you and they want you to have somebody by your side who has done that. And uh, different things that they'll offer. But then as you start to get more experience and more under your belt, uh, there's different products available to you. And, you know, it's just, it's about, you know, treading lightly. It seems like they're really interested in educating those early investors so that they can become uh, more seasoned and more experienced. And of course, you know, continuing clients, which makes a lot of sense. And then something else that I thought was really interesting that they talked about was how they will actually, you know, they have like, a lot of experience in construction and like they'll actually look through like the uh, the construction estimate and like how it breaks down and they, they said they've had a couple times where they've been like hey no 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 like this this tile doesn't actually cost that much money go back to him and, t- and actually saving people money not just lending them money and letting them go figure it out on their own which yeah, i thought well- was really cool and, and I think that's one of the reasons why, so a little background here was that I had, you know, interviewed probably five or six hard money lenders about a year and a half ago um, in my pursuit of trying to invest. And, you know, guys, like for anyone listening to this that has that, like, oh, like I, I don't have enough experience to go out and invest, like coming from a place of, you know, being in the real estate business for nine years and owning a two family home, having bought my first condo and then putting a tenant in that place. Um, I've done renovations around for anybody that follows my Instagram, you see me <laughs> doing my, you know, my DIY renovations in my freaking moccasins. Like, so I'm learning as I go. And yet for some reason, I still to this day have this little like drunk monkey, this little hold up in my head that says like, Oh, but like buying an actual investment property, right? Like a, a flip or a, you know, a property that I'm going to do a major renovation on really is a daunting thought in my head. It's something that like, I, I, I I have a little bit of a hurdle with. And so speaking to this lender, this hard money lender, they really emphasize the idea that as a new investor, they're going to be there to guide you every step of the way. And I really appreciate that approach because it is then not just about that big sack of money being handed over, they want to be hands on and make sure that not only do you succeed for your own good, but also it benefits them to see that, you know, the more people they can turn into successful investors, the better it is for them. Um, So it's a win win situation that's created by that, you know, education, hands on guiding approach that they take. So yeah, it's cool. I mean, not to not for that to say that you don't you still need your own team, right? You still need your own people around you who you can trust it, but they're just having from the finance end of it, a, a group of people who are willing to help you through it. Like I just, it's just so cool. You know, it's, it go, always goes back to, you know, if you, I think it was Jim Rohn, right? If you help enough people get 
what they want you in turn will get what you want you know and uh so it's just really cool to meet people in the in that hard money finance world who seem to have similar values as us now we haven't used them just yet so it's not a full endorsement uh, but if you are looking to learn more about investing and maybe hard money lending uh, feel free to give us a call we also this is the first time i'm kind of putting this out there uh, but we do have an investment group um, Scott and I take part in a, a monthly investment club, which is really just a bunch of like-minded people who are interested in investing in real estate, in the stock market, in businesses, whatever it is. Uh, so if you're interested in that hit either Scott or myself up, we'll make sure we get you invited to that. Um, and yeah, I mean, investing is a huge part of who we are, what we believe in, uh, and a part of both of our journeys. And maybe we haven't really talked about that enough. Um, but it is a big part of what we believe is one of the powers of real estate and why we get so passionate about helping people. So with that being said, um, you know, drop a comment, drop a like, let us know what you think about hard money and Scott, any, uh, any final thoughts? Yeah. So I know in my intro, I said we were going to decide between single family and multifamily investing, but I think maybe this is my ending teaser saying that you got to stick in for next week's episode to figure out what the answer is. So on next week's episode, single family or multifamily, what are you gonna buy? Sounds good, brother. All right, guys, until next week.